Welcome collectors to another edition of Like a Hawk Cards. If you loved collecting the yearbook photos of 1992 or tried to chase for the Mike Piazza 1992, this product I'm going to open today might be the one for you. This is 2020 Bowman Heritage and it has the look of that iconic, to me iconic, 1992 Bowman set. Two Chrome Prospect cards in every box. We're going to get 240 total cards in here. 24 packs, 10 cards per pack. I was able to get a couple of these boxes because I was part of the Montgomery Club. I believe these went on sale quickly on the 15th, um, but were sold out, like I said, very quickly. And I was able to get my hands on a couple of these boxes. We're going to rip one of these today. There are refractors in here. I'm hoping... By the odds, what the odds say, we should be getting uh, about five refractors in the box. And there are black and white parallels, and we should be getting about eight of those black and white parallels in here. There's also the chance of one and one printing plates um, and then numbered autos. You are also supposed to get one auto per box as well. So we're going to be looking for that. And if you're wondering in terms of the quote-unquote rookies in here, you're not going to be finding uh, the Torkelson class. So the 2020 class is not in here. You're actually going to be finding the Adley Rushman class of 2019 is going to be in here. So if you're chasing Torkelson, this is not the set to be looking for. Uh, for him and if you wait until the end I'm going to be giving away the buried treasure the $30 sub repack from everybody that entered per the hit it forward that I did so there are the packs excited to look at this one because the price point was was nice it was actually reasonable uh, as compared to a lot of boxes and I'll say the uh, if you're interested in the NPN we have the NPN 2020 Bowman Heritage BB NPN Group 71 PO Box 5013 Scranton PA 18505. All right, so we have the backs of the cards are going to look just like the other ones from 92. So that's nice. Logo's a little bit bigger on the other one. So there's the difference between those. All right, so inside, so there's the front. So not bad. So we're going to get some rookies. We're going to get some, uh, some vets in here as well. Um, there's Mike Trout, so there's a nice one off the beginning. A little first pack fire for Mike Trout. We have a Capsuano. That is one of the Chrome Prospects. And we have our first paralleled version. This is Nick Lodolo. This is 43 out of 199 for that one. So we got the refractor-ish. Set that there. And then we have a Francisco Lindor, who is no longer on the Indians. You have to get used to that. We'll have to see which set puts him first in his new unis. There's Nova, young, nice young prospect. JJ Bleday. Um, so the autos, I believe, are going to be, and here is our first black and white. So that's a Grayson Rodriguez, the black and white. So we have an Aaron Shortridge. And we have a turned around card. Let's see what this is. So this is Ryan Rollison. This is 92 CPRR. So not sure why. I wonder if this might be an image variation. We'll have to check on that at the end. See why that was turned around there. We have the Aaron Ashby and the Ronald Acuna. Nice. So I checked quickly on the checklist, couldn't find any reason why the Ryan Rollison was backwards. So it's just a normal chrome. Um, there are prospect image variations in here, but it doesn't seem like that was one based on the code on the back of the card. So here is a Vogelbach. India. Seth Brown. So we got the Bobby Witt. Now this is, this is a familiar photo because you would have seen this on, I believe, his first Bowman. And um, again, not a fan of the reuse of cards. I get it because of you know minor leagues not playing. Uh, maybe there weren't a lot, but I don't know. I just kind of feel that that's kind of lazy. But there's Kel Mitchell. And then again, this is a 636, so this should be a regular Travis Swaggerty Chrome. And then we have a Pete Alonzo. It's kind of a fun break. Again, the price point was $100. Um, and you, with all these prospect cards and, and the look of it this year, I just thought this was a no-brainer at least to get one. 
to at least to show um, everyone about what you can get. There's like Mookie Betts, it's Amaya for the Cubs, got a Max Muncy, Force Whitley. We'll see what happens with him. Damon Jones. We have a Brennan Davis Nice for the Cubs. Jesus Sanchez, and there's the regular Ryan Rolison. Let me know if you opened this product and how well you did in the comments. Bobby Dahlbeck, there we go, for the Red Sox. So you do have someone that have the rookie card logo in it, Willie Adamas. We got an AJ Puck rookie card, black and white variation. That's nice. We got our first gold. We'll have to see who that is. Luis Garcia. And not a bad gold. Josh Young out of 50. 30, let's see, 33 out of 50. That is not a bad one at all. I have to sleeve that up. People have some uh, expecting some good things from him. We'll have to see if that pays off in the future. Yeah, he was drafted in the first round by the... Just a regular version of that, no variation. But I will definitely take a gold. Not bad. All right, so we got Seth Beer on the Diamondbacks. There's Jesus. Don't mess with the Jesus. We got Nick Bennett, Marifold. Nice. Andrew Vaughn. He is does have uh, autos in here, so hoping to maybe pull him. Eric Baum, nice. He was up and did very well for his first little bit in the big leagues. So nice to see that. All right, we have a Jaron Dirk. Kind of looks like the uh, Anthony Rizzo rookie card, if you're familiar with that one, that same pose. Owen Miller, Cantino, Matt Manning, got an Alex Young rookie card. Another base of Young. We got another numbered card back here. We got Jorge Mateo first for the Padres. Then we're going to have, we got Kyle Lewis, nice in the back, rookie card. And we have a Leody Tavares, who is on the Rangers. Out of 99, 61 out of 99, the familiar sky blue that they have. So we got three parallels so far. All right, there's a base, Alec Baum. Abraham Toro rookie card, nice. Austin Nola, nice. That's pretty cool. Aaron Judge, black and white. Looks pretty nice with the, uh, with the pinstripes. Not bad card. That that photo is very familiar. That's been at least two or three sets by now. We got Ian Anderson. And another one. Royce Lewis. We'll have to I'm waiting for him to do some things in the big leagues. We'll have to see if he comes up. All right, Dane, Dane Dunning. There's Yelich. We'll see if he comes back on track next uh, this year, actually. Next year, but this year we are in. 2021. Can't wait to start seeing some games. We have Logan Gilbert, black and white. Alex Manoa. And we have another. So we have Cabrian Hayes, who I believe did decently in his call up. I want to, yeah, I want to say that he was doing some nice things. So again, he's on the Pirates, though. That's 30 out of 199 for that one. There's the back of that. First round draft pick. Kel Mitchell. Dustin May. Again, that looks very much like his top's flagship photo. Justin Dunn. Got a Hunter Green. Chrome prospect. Cavico. Julio Rodriguez, who I really would hope he's up this year. Looking forward to Julio Rodriguez. Him and uh, Kalenic. I mean, what an outfield with Kyle Lewis. Those three, I mean, wow. Can't wait to see that in action. Got Trent Grisham, rookie card. Nice. Dylan Cease, rookie. Casey Mize, who took his lumps that, that this year or last year. Shohei Otani, black and white. Not bad. We got Daniel Lynch and Franklin Perez for the prospects. And a Jeff McNeil. Those are regular prospect cards. Christian Robinson, Louboutin, Cattell Marte. 
We got Tristan Tristan Lutz and a regular Ruiz right there. Two more on the back, about halfway through. Still looking for the auto, maybe a couple more. Again, there's the flagship photo, Jordan Alvarez rookie card. Nice Adley Rushman, who again, that is either 19 or 20, uh, Bowman. We have Kalenic, very nice, who I just talked about. Gavin Lux, rookie card. There's the regular Aaron Judge. Sixto Sanchez, we got Blake Snell. We have an orange out of 25. We'll see who that is. Xavier Edwards is this one. We have, oh, that's kind of cool. So we have an A.J. Puck rookie card. But this is Owen Miller, and the orange seems kind of nice with the Padres Uni right there. Six out of 25. Low numbered. Owen Miller in the third round of 2018 draft. I'll have to look up and see about him. So nice to hit some low numbered cards right here. And like I said, it's just a fun, it's fun to be able to rip a box of baseball cards um, and just have fun with it. Um, I'm just enjoying it. It's been a while since I broke a box of anything like this. So Brady McConnell, Ruben Cardenas, and then we have a Colton Walker. See how close we get to a complete set. Hopefully with two boxes we'll be able to complete the set, but you never know. There we go. There's a Lewis Robert rookie card. Not bad. Pache, we got Ronaldo Hernandez, Blake Rutherford, and there is our auto just like that. So we got a Blake Rutherford right there. We have a Jose, Jose Barrios in our auto on card, so that is a nice one. Brandon Howlett for the Red Sox. So my Red Sox fans that are watching are going to have to tell me what they think about Brandon Howlett. So just a regular one. So there we go. There is our auto. Not a, I don't think we're going to be getting two autos out of this, so that was in the... Towards the bottom of the second, of the middle row of the cards. Ryan Mountcastle, Nate Pearson, Tim Anderson, Alzale, Gunnar Henderson, Tristan Cassis, heard of him for the nice Wander Franco right there. Again, that picture looks familiar as well. Got a Juan Soto, and nice, and we all know what that picture is, so that's, of course, Dominguez's rookie card picture right there, and a nice Juan Soto. So nice to hit some names, at least. Might be able to be lucky and, and get a, uh, a parallel of you know another nice numbered person. We got Florio. Ken Smith. We have a JJ Blade who is turned around. I have to look at this. So this is the JJ Blade. This is going to be one of the prospect image variations. So that's nice. Have to remember to sleeve that up and put that aside. Put that right there. We got a Cole Win, and then I will take this. Uh, we got an Alec Thomas. How about a Robert Poson refractor? Again, it looks like it's the the card from his first Bowman, but this is out of 199, 117 out of 199. Nice numbered of him. So that is that's nice. Hopefully we'll hit something something else. But you know we're getting some nice names with the numbered. So here's Fernando Tatis Jr. So if you're not able to get anything nice with the auto, at least we're getting some some decent cards with the numbered hits. Jazz Chisholm, Diaz. We got Joe Adele, who hopefully is going to take a step in the right direction. He kind of um, didn't do too well when he was up this year. We got Glaber Torres and Jose Altuve. About six packs left here. Apostle, who I think is supposed to be pr pretty good. Paul DeYoung. There's Chris Bryant. So I was going to bring this up when I pulled one of his cards. So Chris Bryant today was talking about um, 
how he he was trying to get back to having fun playing baseball, and he did it on a he was talking about it on a podcast. Also told everybody that Bryce Harper told him at dinner one day that the Cubs were at the top of his list when he was a free agent, and the Cubs just didn't pull the trigger. I don't know if that's a good decision by the Cubs or not. Um, I'm I don't know. I'm just not a fan of there's Colton Welker, black and white of Bryce Harper based on his just his. His on base, no, he just strikes out way too much for me, uh, and the average isn't there. And I don't know if that's what the Cubs need, um, but yeah, I don't know if, if if it would have been different for the Cubs in the past couple of years if they would have gotten a Bryce Harper on their team. So Nick Solak, um, but so that worries me that Chris Bryant is talking about not being happy on the Cubs based on that his contract is going to be up soon. Aquino rookie. And this is going to be an image variation, I believe, of Riley Green. And yes, this is going to be our second image variation. So the image variations are going to be turned around in these packs if you are breaking. So just a heads up for that. We do have another blue out of 99. We'll see who that is. So we got Glenn Allen Hill right there. Anthony Volpe for the Yankees. And we got Jackson Rutledge out of 99. 61 out of 99 for the Washington Nationals, who are the proud owners of Kyle Schwarber. So, let's see if we get another numbered uh, card. I don't think so. I think that's. I think we're kind of done with those, but we'll have to see. And then we have the giveaway to do at the end as well. I'll have to clean up the area and do that. We got Randy Arizarena, nice. We'll see if he picks up where he left off last year. There's Ramos, we got a nice Volpe Chrome. Buster Posey, Diaz, two more packs. So yeah, I was worried that Chris Chris Bryant said he wasn't having fun, and that might be one of the reasons why he leaves the Cubs. If if they're taking off, giving away all of, uh, I understand why they're doing it because they have to take away salary because they really were at the cap of what they could do. There's Tyler Freeman, got a JJ Bleday and Logan Davidson. Brian Hayes, but I'm kind of worried that that means that he's not going to be re-signing with the Cubs. Um, if he's not having fun, he's going to have fun, fun somewhere else. And maybe that somewhere else would be with Bryce Harper on, you know, the Phillies if they can sign him, if they have that that cap, but we'll see. So, and again, that's something I'm going to have to worry about. There's Andrew Vaughn, nice. Am I going to still be a Chris Bryant collector if he's not on my team? Um, I don't know. I don't know what happens. Let me know in the comments if you had the player that has left your team that you cheer for and you just no longer cheer for him anymore. So, all right, we're going to clean up this stuff and we'll be back with the uh, giveaway. All right, so we have here are we're going to randomize this eight times as always. So these were the people that entered into the hit it for. We have 19 people this time around. This was in the Tops Mini um, break that I did because I hit the Luis Robert Mini so there is two, three, again, whoever's on top after I do this eight times. Seven, good luck everybody, whoever's at the top. So there is eight, and the winner is Brian Matiosis, who I don't think has won anything yet, and then Low Budget Card Collector. So Brian and Low Budget, um, actually Brian, why don't you email me at likeahawkcards at gmail.com with the theme that you'd like of your $30 repack. If I don't hear back from Brian within a week, then it's gonna go to Low Budget Card Collector, who um, you know always comments. So I uh, appreciate that, congratulations, Brian. Let me know what you thought of the break. What was your favorite card? Are you opening any of this stuff? Really appreciate you checking out this video. Like, subscribe, tell me about your hits in the comments. Always love to hear about those. And of course, their social media, Instagram, at like a hawk, at like a hawk cards, all one word. Hope you have a lot of luck in your next break, and thanks for watching Like a Hawk.